Minding our heads, our hearts, the arts, the onum. Lives have been left out to dry in this country every day. People are being failed by the state, but by society too. Apathy is used as a tool to perpetuate loneliness and disillusionment. After years of lockdown isolation, what can we now do anew as we try to fully emerge from the psychological smog? Can we cultivate clarity in our thoughts and deeds? Kindness these days is an act of rebellion. Optimism is anarchy in the face of despair. Decency was and should still be one of our greatest strengths, like our natural, renewable energy resources, our music, our art. Our laughter and lamentations live in these illuminated shared spaces. Let's not forget now that the human soul cannot be replicated by AI. Let's not suffer from the same amnesia that followed great traumas in our past. Let's proceed without shame united. Let's look to the land, the sea, our community. Look to the emerald itself, the heart chakra of the earth. Its ancient rhythm beating through the bullshit of surface level Schlevines who claim to know the way but have sold us off. And the rents show no signs of dropping. Let's look at our own inherent value and dreams to the true elders of our tribe, to our invaluable assets of poetry, literature, creative activism, unrivaled soundness, and our ability to change the world with a song. Who bore the fight that freedom's light might shine through the foggy dew? I see a common thread here. Empathy for those still suffering, surviving, thriving, broad more than Ubar Tavatuksha. Us consciously flowing forward while minding our heads our hearts, the arts, the onum. Uprising. Watch the full series box set now for free, exclusively on Virgin Media Player.